Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Or listening to your calls? Having a private conversation, only to find out later that someone was eavesdropping the entire time. It's a scary thought, but it's possible. Hackers are getting smarter, they are constantly evolving their techniques to stay ahead of security measures. They don't need to touch your phone to hack it. With the right tools and knowledge, they can infiltrate your device from anywhere in the world. They can do it remotely, often without you even knowing. You might not see any signs, but your data could be compromised. Your phone is a treasure trove of personal information. Think about everything you store on it. The first step is understanding how these invisible attacks happen. Knowledge is power when it comes to cybersecurity. Let's dive into the world of remote hacking and expose the methods used to compromise your mobile phone. Stay tuned to learn how can someone hack our phone without touching them. If a thief breaking into your house, you'd expect to hear the sound of breaking glass or the creak of a door being forced open. They did it without breaking any windows or picking any locks. No alarms go off and nothing seems out of place. That's what remote hacking is like. It's silent, invisible, and can happen without you even realizing it. They gain access to your device without physically touching it. This means they can be miles away, yet still infiltrate your personal space. This is possible because our phones are constantly communicating with the outside world. Every second, data is being sent and received. They connect to cellular networks, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and more. Each of these connections is a potential vulnerability. Each connection point is a potential entry point for a hacker. It's like having multiple doors and windows in your house. Think of it like this. Your phone has doors and windows just like your house. But instead of physical doors, these are digital entry points. Hackers look for unlocked doors or weak windows to sneak in. They scan for any weaknesses in your phone's defenses. They exploit vulnerabilities in your phone's software or trick you into giving them access. This can be done through various deceptive methods. There are many ways hackers can achieve this. They are constantly evolving their techniques to stay ahead of security measures. They can send you a malicious link, which when clicked can give them access to your device. They can trick you into downloading a harmful app disguised as something useful or entertaining, or even intercept your internet connection, especially on public Wi-Fi networks, to steal your data. Let's explore some of the most common methods used by hackers to gain unauthorized access to your mobile phone. Understanding these methods is the first step in protecting yourself. Phishing is one of the oldest tricks in the book. It's like digital bait designed to lure you into a trap. You might receive an email or text message that looks legitimate. It could appear to be from your bank, a social media platform, or even a friend. These messages are designed to trick you into clicking a link or downloading an attachment. The link might take you to a fake website designed to steal your login credentials. The attachment could contain malware that infects your phone. Hackers are clever. They make these phishing attempts look convincing. They often use logos, branding, and even language similar to the real organizations they're imitating. Always be wary of unsolicited messages. Don't click on links or download attachments unless you are absolutely sure of the source. We rely on apps for everything these days. But did you know that some apps can be dangerous? Hackers create malicious apps that look harmless but contain hidden code. These apps might offer free games, tools, or other tempting features but once downloaded and installed, they can wreak havoc on your phone. They can steal your data, spy on your activity, or even take control of your device. Be cautious about the apps you download. Only download apps from trusted sources like the official app stores. Read the app descriptions, permissions, and user reviews before installing anything. Section 5. Wi-Fi Woes Public networks can be dangerous. Free Wi-Fi is tempting, especially when you're on the go. But public Wi-Fi networks are often unsecured. This means your internet traffic is not encrypted, making it easy for hackers to intercept. Imagine sending a postcard instead of a sealed letter. Anyone can read the message on a postcard. That's what it's like using public Wi-Fi without protection. Hackers can use special tools to sniff the data transmitted over the network, including your passwords, credit card numbers, and other sensitive information. Avoid using public Wi-Fi for sensitive activities like online banking or shopping. If you must use public Wi-Fi, consider using a VPN. A VPN encrypts your internet traffic, making it much harder for hackers to spy on you. Section 6. The High Cost of Hacking Risks and Consequences 
Getting hacked is not just an inconvenience. It can have serious consequences. Hackers can steal your identity, drain your bank accounts, or even use your phone to spy on you. Imagine losing all the photos and videos stored on your phone. Or worse, imagine someone using your social media accounts to spread misinformation or harass your contacts. Hacking can damage your reputation, relationships, and finances. It's crucial to take mobile phone security seriously and take steps to protect yourself. Section 7. Spotting the Signs Are you being hacked? Sometimes our phones can give us subtle hints that something is wrong. Recognizing these signs can help you act quickly and minimize the damage. One common sign is unusual battery drain. If your phone suddenly starts dying much faster than usual, it could be a sign of malware running in the background. Another red flag is increased data usage. If you notice a significant spike in your data consumption without any changes in your usage habits, it could be a sign that your phone is sending data to unauthorized servers. Pay attention to any unusual app behavior. If apps start crashing frequently, displaying strange pop-ups, or requesting unnecessary permissions, it could be a sign of compromise. Section 8. Protecting your digital life tips and tricks. Protecting your phone from hackers doesn't require a degree in cybersecurity. In fact, with just a few mindful practices, you can significantly enhance your phone's security. Simple steps can significantly reduce your risk. These steps are easy to follow and can be implemented by anyone, regardless of their technical expertise. First and foremost, keep your phone's software up to date. Regular updates are crucial as they often include patches for security vulnerabilities that have been discovered. Software updates often contain security patches that address known vulnerabilities. Ignoring these updates can leave your device exposed to potential threats. Create strong, unique passwords for all your accounts. A strong password typically includes a mix of letters, numbers, and special characters. Avoid using the same password for multiple services. If one account gets compromised, using the same password across different services can put all your accounts at risk. Consider using a password manager to help you generate and store complex passwords securely. Password managers can also remind you to update your passwords regularly. Enable two-factor authentication whenever possible. This adds an extra layer of security by requiring you to verify your identity through a second method. This adds an extra layer of security by requiring you to enter a unique code from your phone or email in addition to your password. It makes it much harder for unauthorized users to gain access. Be cautious about what you click on and download. Cybercriminals often use phishing tactics to trick you into clicking malicious links or downloading harmful software. Avoid clicking on links from unknown senders or downloading apps from untrusted sources. Always verify the authenticity of the source before taking any action. Think of your phone as your digital fortress. Just as you would protect your home with locks and alarms, your phone deserves the same level of protection. By implementing these security measures, you're building strong walls and reinforcing the gates to keep the hackers at bay. Stay vigilant and proactive in safeguarding your digital life. Section 9. Stay informed, stay safe. The world of technology is constantly evolving, and so are the methods used by hackers. Staying informed about the latest threats is crucial to protecting yourself. Pay attention to news stories about data breaches and hacking incidents. Remember, knowledge is power. By understanding the risks and taking proactive steps to mitigate them, you can confidently navigate the digital world and keep your mobile phone secure.